Hi there. Andrew Caressi is here with Audio Bro. What you just heard right there in the open was a quick music example featuring our new ostinato articulation. These were triggered by simply playing one measure long chords. You can see our ostinato articulation tile right here. And by just playing chords, you can give beautiful motion and fluidity to your strings in ways never so easily achievable, and also in real time. Anyone who has tried to create realistic string mock-ups of ostinatos knows how hard and tedious it can be, and in the end, how bad they can sound. Modern Scoring Strings has fixed all that for you by recording beautiful back-and-forth eighth-note legato ostinatos, and by substituting minor second, major second, minor third, major third, perfect fourth, and perfect fifth intervals into your chords and phrases with our intelligent engine. By analyzing the chords you play, our engine will automatically create phrases at tempos and dynamics you want by combining real performances with real round robins in both directions, starting up and down. It's so easy, it's like cheating. All of the controls you see here can be assigned to continuous controllers, either by using Contact's built-in CC assignments or by using the drop-down menus at the bottom of the respective controls. So let me just show you by playing some examples. Here I'll play the same chord shapes that you heard in the intro. And I'll be using the smart mode. Notice when I play all these examples, the phrases will be in sync. That's because our engine will auto-quantize your phrases to sound their best. Of course you can turn this off, but in these examples I'll just leave it on. What you heard there were the violins and the violas playing the exact same chords. Our engine automatically analyzed the chords and substituted our intervals to satisfy the chords. And this was all done while assigning the notes to the different divisis to maintain a balanced section sound. Now let's hear the violins alone. And the violas alone. and the same type of chords for the cellos. You can even play jazz chords. If you want literal interval playback of only the notes you play, then you can use our played mode. So for example, let's listen to the cellos. I'll play the interval I want to hear back, and it takes two notes to create an interval. So for starters, I'll just play two notes here. The played mode evaluates odd numbered note chords by automatically computing their intervals between each adjacent note. Now I'll add a third note. Now I'll add a fourth note, and you can add more, and the engine will just figure it out. You don't even have to think about it. Now, to better understand what's going on, let's listen to the various modes and phrases we recorded for the ostinatos. To do this, we'll go into the menu mode and we'll choose major seconds. Now I'll play a C note on the piano. What you'll hear is a C to D. Now with down two, you'll hear a D to C. Now you'll hear the down, which will be C to B flat. And now up, which is B flat to C. Now this is of course applied to all intervals and all divisis. This is really handy for creating that parallel interval sound that we like to use in modern orchestration. Um, something like this with minor seconds. Major seconds. Thirds. 
fourths, fifths, you get the idea. Now, when you're in second or third mode, then depending on what key you're in, in the menu, our ostinato engine will automatically trigger the correct diatonic intervals for you, like this, in seconds. And now the exact same chords in thirds. These modes allow for so many variations, and each one brings something special to the table. But the best part is that it's so easy to do. Now, our ostinatos will automatically sync to tempo. We've put a lot of work into this, allowing for different playback options that affect tempo, including eighth note playback or one to one, and triplet feels like three to two, or quintuplets like five to two, or septuplets like seven to two. Our engine can also play back the phrases at half time or double time. And in auto mode, it will simply play back at whatever speed sounds best. So here are some examples. Let's listen to 72 BPM. So let's play the exact same MIDI at 90 BPM. And now we'll play it at 120 BPM. And now at 150 BPM, you'll notice that it will automatically adjust to half speed so it sounds best. Now, you can of course bypass the auto mode if you want to force the ostinatos to play at a very fast tempo. Our ostinato engine will even follow along with tempo changes and will update the performance tempo whenever the engine retriggers a note. And since we're talking about tempos, here's an example of some really fast ostinatos. This example gives you an idea of the range they can have. Here, they'll be playing double time at a tempo of 130 BPM. So in essence, the eighth notes will be playing back at 260 BPM. Let's listen. And by contrast, modern scoring strings can also be used for pop-style string arranging. Here's an example using simply the ostinato strings and piano. Well, there you have it. That should give you a pretty good idea of our ostinato phrases and engine. It's really fun and inspiring to experiment with the different modes. You can spend hours getting lost in these lovely sounds by just playing chords and letting the engine do all the work. We hope you'll find it inspiring too. That's it for now, and see you at the next video.